Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we're doing beginner heat workout. 12 minutes of work. So this is a workout you can do as often as you wish to. Modify it and progress it over time. You can do it up to 3-4 times a week and it's a full complete workout. Pair it with a walk or working gardening, working around the house etc. so that you have other movement during the day. But this is enough as far as cardiovascular and strength workout goes 12 minutes of work you will be done in just 12 minutes but warm up first and we're gonna do 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest so a lot of rest 30% of the workout is rest so it is a 8 minute really of actual work workout you can do 8 minutes and you can do it often because you can fit it in your day I'll show you the exercises it is a hit so that's that stands for high intensity interval training and I will make it a little moder more moderate intensity but still there is gonna be um, intensity that's the whole point just sweating a little bit and taking the heartbeat up improves our cardiovascular capacity and helps with many things lymphatic drainage building strength building endurance it helps with a lot of aspects of exercise but also healthy living for more sessions like this come to my playlist i have a few beginner playlists beginner to intermediate beginner playlists for complete beginners i have three to six month beginner series on my website that you can download and of course for more workouts full yoga classes full length workouts come to my website on my membership i have hundreds today's session is for everybody because we're going to modify to our needs and we can build cardiovascular capacity strength endurance just in 12 minutes a day Okay, the first exercise is squat jumps. So if you're very new to um, your complete, complete beginner, which this exercise is for beginners, but complete beginners should first do my beginner series, which is a three month program. If you're very athletic, but, but a beginner, then you can do this. Or if you're an um, experienced beginner, someone that has done a little bit of yoga before, or a lot of yoga, just beginner level. So jump uh, squats. You will get your feet to be wider than hip width apart, toes pointing out, knees following the toes, and you will do squat and come up. That's for a beginner. Otherwise, you can do squat and light hop. So this is a, not a deep squat, which is an advanced move. This is a shallow squat and jump, shallow squat and jump. Progress it over time, go a little deeper and jump. Go a little deeper, jump, keep the belly in. Um, if you can do that, knee problems, etc., then you're gonna hold a nice wall squat with the lower back pressing into the wall and your ankles underneath your knees. Nothing looking like ankles close to you because that would put a lot of strain on your knees. All right, <sighs> I already feel it. The next exercise is lunge, jump. Again, I'll give you progressions. If you're a complete, complete, complete beginner, then you're gonna step back, step in, step back, step in. Again, knee over the ankle, belly in. Now, the next level is squat, uh, back lunge to knee hop. And the next level can be jumps in place. So that's the next exercise. The third exercise is the same, only on the opposite side. Take the level that works for you. This is for everybody to modify, however it fits for them. The next exercise is push-up. So from the knees, straight back, push-up push up if you can do it from the feet or do that otherwise just focus on form and keeping the belly in really keeping that straight line and 
and if you can cannot do from your knees then you're gonna do push-ups from the wall and the last exercise is crunches side crunches we are going to lay on one side extend the bottom arm underneath and really power up the obliques lift 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 last exercise is the same on the opposite side this is enough as a full body toning warming up before you begin with walking in place stretching a little bit and so forth do a warm up before you begin and if you have a lot of time today you can also do a beginner yoga class after which is more of a stretchy in class if you wish to otherwise this for me is going to be the only thing I do I've been doing when I travel when I have a lot of work and I don't have a lot of time then I do this type of workout and that is enough absolutely and completely enough and which I cannot stress enough because a lot of you believe that you have to kill yourself in order for it to be enough no nope, this is enough just raising your um, pulse a little bit your heartbeat a little bit is enough in involving all the muscles in some form of intense movement totally enough and you can vary how intense, intense it feels on different days by speeding it up slowing it down um, and modifying the exercises all right this was a very long intro let's begin <laughs> i'll put the timer on and we're starting with squat jumps starting session squat jumps pushing the booty as far back as you can and you don't have to jump Work. really squeezing the booty you want to involve the glutes in your squats rather than just the um, quads. Rest. Rest and prepare for lunge, jump, right leg leading. So you can just step back or bring a hop in or jump in place. Whichever one works for you. You should feel your quads burning. Rest. Opposite side. Again, stepping back, knee hop, or jumping in place. Knee over the ankle. Pull the belly in, squeeze, booty and quads, glutes and quads. Push up. Straight back. Work. Really squeeze the belly. Side crunches. Laying on your right side, really powering the move through your obliques. Opposite side. Starting again 
with squat jumps. Sit on the wall. Squat sits or sitting. Pressing into the wall is an option here. Introducing some hopping and higher intensity. If your joints allow, it's really beneficial to your bone density, joint strength. Lunge variation, lunge jump, lunge step, hop. Opposite side. You see, I'm building core, obliques, quads, glutes, hamstrings upper body all in 12 minutes perfectly enough push-ups Side crunch. Opposite side. We are halfway in, just like that, squat jumps. We're repeating this whole combination two more times and that's it. Squeeze the booty here. One jump. Opposite side, marching. Keep your knee above your ankle. Pull the belly in, flat back, go. Rest. 
side crunches. Really try to involve your obliques here. So you're squeezing the sides of the body. Opposite side. Breathe. Last set. You can do it. You can so do it. Squat jumps. Squat, wall squat. Long jumps. Lower that knee. Come on. So feel this. Opposite side. You can do it. This is the last lunge we do. Oh, the burn. Push up. Last two exercises, we have side crunch. I'll modify it with my legs on the ground. And really flexing here. Your bottom arm is helping just a little bit, but you're really flexing the obliques, the side of the abs, the side of dominoes. Opposite side. Last exercise. And we're done. Bring your hands at the front of the mat, spread the fingers wide open. Yay! And step into plank. Flatten the body, take the tailbone down, pull the belly in. Shoulders wide and away from the ears. Hold and let the burn happen. Let the burn begin. Bend the knees, walk your feet in, knees hovering over the floor, pull the belly in. Great. <sighs> Come up to standing, stretching the sides, stretching the sides, stretching the sides, stretching the sides. Thanks for joining me today. 
Good job. Namaste.